hey what's going on guys in this video i want to i want to find a book that is good in selling sales and sellings because uh, why i'm reading this because i was reading the book for millionaire next door and uh, it was talking about the self made millionaire those who are working on self employment jobs you know most of them are entrepreneurs so i am kind of interested in selling like a starting a side hustle related to selling so first uh, i better to start you know if i want to start something i prefer starting with a book starting with a book that is really good in those kind of areas so what did i do is just basically type top books top books on sales selling selling and then uh, you go to amazon here you can see sales and selling here what we are looking at is we are looking at a book that has uh, between 4 to 5 stars and has higher high reviews now you can see this one 3698 so this is in th 3000 range now let's see whether we have something that is above than this now here we didn't find anything yet this one has 5910 Okay, I want to make sure I'm in sales and selling, marketing, sales, advertising, consumer behavior, customer service, marketing, sales and selling, search. Okay, this is the one we are looking for. So we are in a, we are in the correct site. What everybody is saying. Okay, this one has five thousand nine hundred. Okay, that's one of the thing we can note here. Five thousand nine hundred. Now let's go ahead and see whether we have something that is above than this. Now let's see. <coughs> okay, we had something called we had something called go giver that is around 4000. Hey, this one has five thousand eight hundred, but the other one is five thousand nine hundred. So still, that one is above. Okay, so I decided to. Um, I don't think any other book I can find here. So I decided to de read this one. This one has five thousand nine hundred. Let's look at the reviews. <clears throat> now here it says a uh, worth its weight in gold if you were paying attention you would know this if you are but you wish you were, if you get this book this book will drastically change the way we human okay so there are some good reviews some of them are bad reviews as well but most of them are good reviews you can see 75 percentage of the people uh five star 15 percentage four star one only very few has well three star one star two uh, three star two star one star it means this book is a really good book so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start reading this book now let's go and find this book Okay. Now, okay, now we are here. I got the book. Book. Uh, this is for fun. Please install. What's that? EPUB. I have to install EPUB. EPUB. Uh, for Windows. Equal for Windows file on. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know what's happening here. <clears throat> I want the PDF person. What everybody is saying. Download PDF, download with Google. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, here we go. What everybody's saying, I'm just gonna read the first eight pages then. I will start continue later. Okay, here we go. Mastering the sec <coughs> secrets of nonverbal communication. <coughs> the first page says Whenever I am teaching people about body language, this question is invariably asked Joe, what got you interested in studying nonverbal behavior in the first place? It wasn't something. I had planned to do no was it the result of some long long term fascination with the topic it was much more down to earth than that it was an interest born of necessity the need to adapt successfully to a totally new way of life when i was 8 year old i came to america as an exile from cuba we left just a few months after the bay of pigs invasion and we honestly thought we would be here only for a short while as refuse, refugees. Unable to speak English at first, I did what thousand <coughs> other immigrants coming <coughs> to this country have done. I could quickly learned that to fit in with my new classmate at school, I needed to be aware of and sensitive to the other language around me. The language was language of nonverbal behavior. I found that was a language i found out that i found that was a language i could translate and understand immediately in my young mind i saw the human body as a kind of billboard that transmitted what a person was thinking via gestures facial expressions and physical movements that i could read over time obviously i learned english and even lost some skills with the spanish language but the nonverbals I fo I never forgot. I discovered at an early age that I could always rely on nonverbal communications. I learned to use body language to decipher what my classmates and teachers were trying to communicate to me and how they felt about me. One of the first things I noticed was that students or teachers who genuinely liked me would raise their eyebrows when they first saw me walk into the room. On the other hand, those individuals who were too who weren't too friendly toward me would squint their eyes slightly when I appeared. Uh, a behavior that once observed is ne never forgotten. I used this nonverbal information as so as so many other immigrants have quickly to evalu evaluate and develop friendships, to communicate despite the obvious language barrier, to avoid enemies, and in nurturing healthy relationships. Many years later. I would use these same nonverbal behaviors to solve crimes as a special agent at Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI). Based on my background, education, and training, I want to teach you to see the world as an FBI expert on nonverbal communication. Views it as a vivid, dynamic environment where every human interaction resonates with information and as an opportunity to use the silent language of the body to enrich your knowledge of what people are thinking, 
feeling and intending to do using this knowledge will help you stand out among others it will also protect you and give you previously hidden insight into human behavior what exactly is nonverbal com communication nonverbal communication often referred to as nonverbal behavior or body language is a means of transmitting information just like the spoken word except it is achieved through facial expression gestures in the blink of an eye eye blocking is a nonverbal behavior that can occur when we feel threatened and or don't like what we see squinting as the case in with my class described about and closing or shielding our eyes are actions that have evolved to protect the brain from seeing undesirable images and to communicate our disdain toward others as an investigator i use eye blocking behaviors to assist in the arson investigation of a tragic hotel fire in puerto rico that claimed 97 lives a security guard came under immediate suspicion because the blaze broke out in an area where he was assigned one of the way we determined he had nothing to do with the starting the fire was by asking him some specific questions as to where he was before the fire at the time of the fire and whether or not he set the fire after each question i observed his face of for any telltale signs of eye block behavior his eyes blocked only when questioned about where he was when when the fire started oddly contrast oddly in contrast he did not seem troubled by the question did you set the fire this told me the real issue was his location at the time of the fire not his possible involvement in the setting fire he was questioned further on topic by the lead investigators and eventually admitted to leaving his post to visit his girlfriend who also worked at the hotel unfortunately while he was gone the arsonists entered the area he should have been guarding and started the fire in this case the guards i blocking behavior gave us the insight we needed to pursue a line of questioning that eventually broke the case open in the end three arsonists responsible for the tragic blaze were arrested and convicted of the crime the security guard while woefully negligent and burdened with tremendous guilt was not however the culprit <coughs> touching haptics physical movements kinesis kinesics posture body adornment clothes jewelry hairstyle tattoos etc and even the tone timbre and uh, volume of an individual's voice rather than spoken content nonverbal behavior comprises approximately 60 to 65% of all interpersonal communications and during love making can constitute 100% of the communication between partners burgon 1994 229 to 285 Nonverbal communication can also reveal a person's true thoughts, feelings and intentions. For this reason, nonverbal behavior are sometimes referred to as tells. They tell us about the person's true state of mind because people are not always aware of aware they are communicating nonverbally. Body language is often more honest than the individual's verbal pronouncement, which are consciously crafted to accomplish the speaker's objective. accent speaks louder than words a memorable example of how body language can sometimes be more truthful than the verbal language involved the rape of a young woman on the parker indian reservation in arizona a suspect in the case was brought in for questioning his words sounded convincing and his story was plausible he claimed he hadn't seen the victim and while out in a field had gone down a row of cotton turned left and then walked straight to his house while my colleagues jotted down notes about what they were hearing i kept my eyes on the suspect and saw that as he told the story about turning left and going home his hand gestured to the his to his right which was exactly the direction that led to the rape scene if i hadn't been watching him I wouldn't have caught the discrepancy between his verbal I went left 
and non-verbal hand is gesturing to the right behavior. But once I saw it, I suspected he was lying. I waited a while and then confronted him again. And in the end, he confessed to the crime. Whenever you observe, or whenever your observation of another person's non-verbal behavior helps you understand the person's feelings, intentions, or actions, or clarifies his or her spoken words, then you have successfully decoded and used the silent medium, using non-verbal behavior to enhance your life. It has been well established by researchers that those who can effici- uh, effectively read and interpret nonverbal communication and manage how others perceive them will enjoy greater success in life than individuals who lack this skill volume 1995 13 to 92 it is the goal of this book to teach you how to observe the world around you and to determine the meaning of our nonverbal in any settings this powerful knowledge will enhance your personal interaction and enrich your life as it has mine. One of the fascinating things about an appreciation for nonverbal behavior is its universal applicability. It works everywhere human interacts human everywhere human interact. Nonverbals are uni, ubiquitous and reliable. Once you know what a specific nonverbal behavior means, you can use that information in any number of different circumstances and in all type of environments. In fact, it is difficult to interact effectively without non verbals If you ever wondered why people still fly to, fly to meetings in the age of computers, text, messages, email, telephones, and video conferencing, it is because of the need to express and observe non-verbal communications in person. Nothing beats seeing the nonverbals up close and personal. Why? Because nonverbals are powerful and they have meaning. Whatever you learn from this book, you will be able to apply to any situation in any settings. Case point. See box three and next page. <coughs> giving the doc giving a doctor the upper hand. Several months ago. I presented a seminar to a group poker players on how to use nonverbal behavior to read their opponent's hands and win more money at the tables because poker is a game that emphasizes bluffing and deception. Players have a keen interest in being able to read the tell of their opponents. For them, decoding nonverbal communications is critical to success. While many were grateful for the insights I provided. What startled me was how many seminar participants were able to see the value of understanding and utilizing nonverbal behavior beyond the poker table. Two weeks after the session ended, I received an email from one of the participants, a physician from Texas. What I find most amazing, he wrote me, he said what I learned in your seminar has also helped me in my practice. The nonverbal you taught us on in order to read poker plays have helped me to read my patients too. Now I can sense when they are uncomfortable, confident or not being entirely truthful. The doctor's not speaks to the universality of non universality of nonverbal and their value in all facet of facets of life. Mastering nonverbal communications requires a partnership. I am convinced that any person possessing normal Intelligence can learn to use nonverbal communication to better themselves. I know this because for the past two decades I have taught thousands of people just like you how to successfully decode nonverbal behavior and use that information to enrich their lives, the lives of their loved one, and to achieve their personal and professional goals. Accomplishing this, however, requires that you and I establish a working partnership each contributing something of signification to our mutual effort. Following 10 commands, commandments of observing and decoding nonverbal communication successfully. Reading people successfully, collecting nonverbal intelligence to assess their thoughts, feelings and intentions is a skillful skill that requires constant practice and proper training. To help you to on the training side, I want to provide you with some important guidelines or commandments. To maximize your effectiveness in reading nonverbals as you incorporate these commandments, 
into your everyday daily life and make them part of your routine they soon will become second nature to you needing little if any conscious thought it's a lot like learning to drive do you remember the first time you gave it that a go if you were like me you were so concerned with operating the vehicle that it was difficult to track what you were doing inside the car and concentrate on what was happening on the roads outside at the same time it was only when you felt comfortable behind the wheel that you were able to expand your focus to encompass the total driving environment that's the way it is with nonverbal behavior once you master the mechanics of using nonverbal communication effectively it will become automatic and you can focus your full attention on decoding the world around you commandment 1 be a competent observer of your environment this is the most basic requirement for anyone wishing to decode and use nonverbal communication imagine the foolishness of trying to listen to someone with plugs in our ears we couldn't hear the message and whatever was said would be lost on us thus most intent listeners don't go around wearing ear plugs yet when it comes to seeing the silent language of nonverbal behavior many viewers might as well be be, be wearing blind spots as obvious as they are to the body signals around them consider this just as careful listening is critical to understanding our verbal pronouncements so careful observation is virtual to comprehending our body language what well, don't just breeze the past breeze past that sentence and continue reading what is what is what it states is critical concerted effortful observation is absolutely essential to reading people and detecting their nonverbal tells successfully the problem is that most people spend their lives looking but not truly seeing or oh, as sherlock holmes the malicious english detective declared to his partner dr watson you see but you do not observe sadly the majority of individuals viewers their surroundings view their surroundings with a minimal amount of observational effort such people are obvious to subtle changes in the their world they are, they are unaware of the rich tapestry of details that surrounds them such as the subtle movement of the person hand or foot that might betray his thoughts intention in fact various scientific studies have demonstrated people to be poor observers of the, their world for example when a man dressed in a gorilla suit walked in front of a group of students while other activities were taking place half the student didn't even notice the gorilla in their minds midst observation improvised individual lack what airline pilots refer to as situational awareness which is a sense of where one is at all times they don't have solid mental picture of exactly what is going on around them or even in front of them ask them to go into a strange room filled with people give them a chance to look around and then tell them to close their eyes and report what they saw you will be astonished by their inability to recall even the most obvious features in the room i find it disheartening how often we run into somebody or read about someone who always seems to be blindsided by life's events the complaints of these individuals are nearly always the same my wife just fell filed divorce I never had a clue she was unhappy with our marriage. The guidance counselor tell me my son has been using cocaine for 3 years. I had no idea he had a drug problem. Okay. So until this it, this sounds very interesting. This book uh, sounds very interesting so far like uh, what I have learned is it's all about it this book is talking all about uh, body language and stuff i think uh, how it is connected to selling and sales i think you know you have to read your customers customers body language and those kind of things to actually sell well you know if you see in the car dealerships and all the stuff 
they actually look at how you are your body language and stuff and if you can read it i think you have a better chance of selling that's why this book is on selling and sales and it seems like quite interesting so far and what they are suggesting is practicing observing behavior you know observing certain uh, people and you know noticing how they are feeling can you observe someone and say what they are feeling i think better practice would be as he mentioned here one of the as he talked about this i actually remember the same movie the this uh, this movie called this which actually sherlock holmes he is a detective and he find out things by observing the environment very carefully and even the body language he can tell actually what has happened um the better practice i think may be watching those movies and trying to figure out by yourself and connecting with this book you know i didn't read uh, after the i had to go through all the way to see actually what what's going on after this because i have never read this book so far i think in the early years i i i, I might have touched it but i don't remember anything now it seems completely new i am going to continue this one later on and i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you guys on my next video